Hello everyone, Akshay here. Today we will see two more ways to test the program we wrote in the previous video. So without any delay, let's get started. So in order to test the program in animation table, we will select the program entirely, right click it, say initialize animation table. This is the fastest way to test our program. So in order to test of the program, we need to simulate it. So we'll follow the same step we used in the previous video, go into the build, rebuild, say yes, go into the PLC, connect, PLC again, transfer the project to PLC. And in order to run the program, go up in here, click run. Okay, so my program is running. So in order to simulate the working of the start button, uh, we need to first highlight the modification tab as our, my data type of the variable is boolean. If it is extended boolean, then I will select the force. But since it is boolean, I will select the modification tab. Uh, then highlight start button, set it value to one. So my motor starts and when I lift the finger from my button, so I will set the value to zero, my motor is still working. And similarly, I will test the stop button, set the value to 1, my motor stops, and again set the value to 0. This is how you test program in animation table. It's the fastest and the quickest way to test a program. Uh, we will see a more interesting way to test a program that is by using an operator screen. So let's go ahead and stop the program. You can go up in here, say stop, say OK. Go into the PLC, say disconnect. Uh, the animation table we have created is created under the tab animation table. Let's test the program in operator screen. Go highlight the operator screen, right click it, say new screen. It will create and say OK. It will create an operator screen. Uh, in order to test the program, we will create a push button uh, for start and stop. So go up and here, you will find a push button in this toolbar, uh, left click it, drag it this way and leave your click. So you have created a button. In order to create this, uh, another button, just say control C and control V. So I created, basically created a copy of the button. So in order to assign the controls to it, just double click this button. Uh, you will be taken to uh, object properties under the control tab variable. Just go in here and assign the control to start and say OK and enter the text so it will be easy to recognize the button. So start as my button is without latching, no need to click in here. Take this box, say apply and OK. So my text appears here. Similar way I will do it for the stop button. Assign the control to stop button and say OK and enter the text stop no need of latching say apply OK so I have created my two buttons in the operator screen uh, in order to uh, indicate the activity of the motor I will take ellipse from the toolbar and draw a circle uh, I will animate this circle uh, animation by means uh, it when the value of the motor is zero that is it is off it will display a red color when it is in on state the value the bit value is one then it will be green in color so let's go ahead and animate this just select it and then double click it it's important to do that because if you simply double click and inside you will be taken to a default property we don't want to go in here so it's better you select and then double click it so you will be taken to the object property go into the animation tab click this box and Assign the value to the motor, control to the motor, say OK. And as I want to display it red in the off state, so I will select a off state that is bit zero and go into the draw. And in pattern, I will just uh, go into the full and assign a red color and say apply. So when it is off, that is its better value is zero, it will display a red color. Similarly, I will do it for the bit value to be 1, it will be displayed in green. So in order to do that, just create a copy of this, say selected control C and control V. I will just align this thing and the same way, select it, double click it. 
you will be taken to the object property tab animation you have select you you will see that it has written it property because we have just created a copy but now we will uh, describe the uh, state for the on state so bit one selected go into the draw tab same full but for now you will be selecting a green color and say apply and say okay that's it we are done with the animation table uh, now we'll go ahead and test the operator screen and eventually about the program so again the same procedure build say yes and plc connect and plc again transfer the project to plc transfer so run our program and say okay so you can see my program is running but you will see i can't click my buttons in here in order to enables my button in here you just go up in here and enable write variable option it's a toggle key just click it that's it it's on now so you will see my buttons are now highlighted i can use them so uh, i will resize it so you guys can see it yeah so uh, i will click the start button so you can see motor is working it's displaying it green color and for the stop button I will just click it that's it um, it is displaying red color just marking the activity of my motor so it's a visual means to uh, see what's going on in it it's a really fun tool so if you try it yourself so you will get the basic idea that what I used it uh, and how I used it so have fun learning stay tuned for the my next coming videos thank you